Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our partner 44. Inside this video session, guys, we will discuss about adding some panels for products, something like new arrivals, as well as popularity. Let's say that we have an e-commerce website as as we had seen inside multiple e-commerce website that we have some zone which indicates all about the popular products as well as new arrivals product. So as we go inside our website, so this is the admin panel and if we go here that is this is our home page which indicates all about the blog listing. So we want to add some panels here, something which indicates new arrived products. It means newly created products inside our admin panel. Or if we want to see or show to users all about the popular products of our store. So these are the areas actually we want to create inside this theme. So for that, we need to use WooCommerce shortcodes. Now if we go here, this is the second link I have opened called docs.ucommerce.com forward slash document forward slash ucommerce hyphen sort codes. Now inside this, we will find all about the complete details about ucommerce sort codes. Now if I scroll down and before going to this video, if I copy that, pasting it here and this is the link. By the help of this link, we can study all about available WooCommerce shortcodes. Now back to the link. Now inside this, as we had seen about these pages shortcodes about WooCommerce cart, WooCommerce checkout, WooCommerce my account and WooCommerce order tracking. Again if I back to pages section, let's see about the use of these things and here Inside this cart page, if we click on add it because this is default generated page of WooCommerce while installation we had seen and inside this page as we can see that this is the sort code it is using something WooCommerce hyphen cart. This is the sort code which is used to show the cart page. So these are the pages sort codes. So right now we are not going to use or check these sort codes instead we are going to use the products panel now inside this products panel this is the sort code actually we need to use inside these sort codes we need to pass some available options on the behalf of available options we can display our products so as we can see that these are the sort codes available pages sort codes what we have used inside our created page and by the help of that page we have linked into our site and by the help of that link we have displayed all about WooCommerce card. Now if I back to our site go to shop page and let's say that I'm going to add one, pro one more product inside this card go inside this cart and now this cart page means this is all about the area this all content is coming from the sort code called WooCommerce cart. So by the help of this cart page what we have inside our admin panel we are displaying our contents. So we need to display also about the products so either we can create a separate product space to display all the products which is either in new arrivals or popularity or we can use a do sort code function. This is a WordPress function which is used to actually run a specific sort code inside WordPress pages. Now if we scroll down inside this command, so these are available product attributes. So first of all, let's see that how can we use this sort code. Now if I back to editor and as we go inside this admin panel, go here and let's open about inside this because currently admin is logged in and by the help of a plugin, we can see that this is using the template called index.php. 
So if we want to add any new panels here, we need to go index.php because this is the default fallback file or we can create the layout or the template of this file as we had discussed inside very first videos. So what I will do, go to editor, WP content, themes, simple bootstrap theme and inside this we have the file called index.php. Now inside this file we need to add some panels for new arrivals or list some popular products. So what I will do, this is all about our blog class called empty eat which indicates all about this blog posting area. This is left hand side div and right hand side div. So we are going to add our products to this left hand side area. So back to editor, go inside this if I close this if. Now this is which is repeating itself and here what I will do, we are going to use our products listing. So let's say that simply what we have to do if I make a div, let's say id is something products hyphen let's say new arrivals. We are going to display all the products what we have newly created inside our store. So inside this simply as we go inside WooCommerce shortcode again we have the products so copy pasting it here and inside this we can pass our products available attributes like something we have limit this is limit that is number of products we are going to display inside this area now next we have called columns so let's say that these are like product grid columns so we are going to display four products and this is our limit next if we go again to the attributes list this is all about limit columns next we have called paginate order by and so on so right now i'm not going to discuss about all these attributes let's take all about this order by because by the help of this order by we can filter our products and display to the user now if i copy this order by go here putting it here and inside this order by let's say that we want to display the newly newly created products so simply we need to pass here the available value is date is something order by date here so if I back here, let's say date, and as we know that this is a sort code, so either we can create a separate page and by the help of that page we can display our new arrivals product or products panel we can create or simply by the help of our available WordPress function called do underscore sort code and inside this function we can pass our sort code. So simply I am putting single quotes because inside this already we have used double quotes putting a semicolon and finally we are going to display so we have to use echo here. Now this sort code is going to display four products in four columns order by date. It means recent products what we have created inside our store will be displayed here. Now if I save all these changes, back here, go here and inside this footer section as we can see that 4 products now coming. This is our latest products. Now let's ahead go and add our h1 tag here let's say or h3 simply let's say new arrivals. If we save this change, go here, reload this page, this is new arrivals. Now let's say that if we want to use and display another area for popularity, so what I will do simply copy and paste and instead of new arrivals, we want that the number of purchases, it means the number of products means 
purchased several times comes first. If we go inside its documentation and we can see here that is popularity is on the basis of number of purchases. It means a single product purchased 8 times and another product purchased let's say 5 times. So 8 times will be the first value. Now go to editor. Inside this order by instead of date, simply I am going to change let's say popularity and this time this is not new arrivals this is products and all about popularity so save all these changes back to browser reload this page and we can see here that is this time these products are different and these products are different because these are popular products number of purchases of these products will be higher according to comparison of these products. We have several options available inside this order by if suppose we want to display random products on about page reload so we have to use rand here. By using order by equal to rand randomly order the products on page load may not work with sites that using caching as it could have a specific order. We have now rating. On the basis of rating, if we want to display our products, we can use order by equal to rating. And this is all about the title. So simply guys, inside this video, we understood that how can we add some products area which display about new arrivals means newly created product is two and like popularity it means number of purchases. Inside your WooCommerce theme you can add several options what we are getting inside this order by. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.